Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Vape Noobs. Uh, what I forgot today is actually a starter pod device. It is the... where's the box? There you go. Should have been more prepared. It's the Vupu Doric Q. Uh, it's a very low budget entry pod device and uh, I'm uh, interested in see how it's gonna fare. So stay tuned and let's get into the breakdown. And there it is, the Vupu Doric Q. Now, what is inside the box? Just put this up. You have one extra coil, which is a 0 0.7 coil. Um, you got your charging cable, which is, which is actually quite long. As you can see, USB-C. You have the device itself already with a pod and you have somewhere along here the instruction manual that we never read. Right, so the device itself, what does it have? Um, it's pretty light, pretty straightforward. It has your airflow hole here, you got your USB charging port here and if you take the pod out you got your, your terminals and you got a little hole for the actual um, airflow. Once you put the coil in, it will flash once in green. There you go. Uh, and once you vape on it, it's auto drag. It will light up green from like a, you know, just gradually gets to a stronger green. Uh, when it runs out of battery, it will flash green three times. When it short circuits, it will flash one time green light. If the coil is not put in, if the pod's not put in properly, it will also flash one time green. And if you put the pod properly, it will flash one time green. So you're starting to see where the confusion might might happen here. Um, if it has no battery um, and you charge it, it will be blue. And once it's fully charged, it will be a steady green color. Uh, now, characteristics for this: the the liquid is up to, the the pod takes two millimeter uh, two milliliters of of liquid. Um, the battery is an 800 milliamps built-in battery and there, that's pretty much that there is all there is to it. So uh, I'm gonna put some liquid on this, I'm gonna vape on it and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how this, uh, how this looks. I am using the Riot Squad um, five milligrams nicotine um, pot salt. So let's see how this goes. not bad I like the coils um, the, the it, it does retain the flavor um, it's it's very light very easy to touch the airflow is good um, yeah not much bad things to say it's like it's one of those like you know have it in your pocket forget about it kind of things now um, pros and cons I would have to say the LED system is really annoying uh, because you can have like zero to no battery and it'll still light up as green as you can see or you can have full battery and it will still light up green so you have that problem uh, the fact that if it short circuits or if you're putting a new coil a new pod or if the pod is not seated properly it's the same color code uh, a little bit of a oversight um, we know that it has a blue uh, LED because when you charge it, it goes on to blue and then it turns green. So they could have gone under the same system like the other pods where they go, if the battery starts getting weak, it turns blue. You do know when the battery uh, goes on, um, when the battery actually starts getting weak because you do notice a very drop in the, in the heating up of, of the, the liquid. Another thing uh, that... Um, it's very subjective, but you leave it on charge and once you take it off, the first couple of puffs do feel a little bit burnt. So it kind of gives you the impression that there is no power regulation. So if it's fully charged, it gives you outputs a lot more heat. And then with this less battery, um, less power, it out outputs a lot less, which to be honest, is not a bad thing, but you don't want to get that burn feeling in the first couple of puffs after it's been fully charged. It's, it's not my thing. Um, now disclaimer this is actually my second device the first one the battery actually died that's how i know the the aspect of, of the batteries and everything else um, but apart from that it's very consistent now battery life um one day one day it's as long as it takes and then you have to charge it uh, or if you're a heavy vapor more than once a day 
um, and the the pods they will last you one week each pod um, if you actually are a, a heavy vapor so it's not bad the from where I get them two pods go for six pounds so it is it is not cheap but not expensive bearing in mind that the whole device costs nine and it comes with two pods so you, you almost feel tempted to just buy a new device every time you do it but anyway I can complain um, so there you have it guys uh, the Vupu Dori Q um, not bad I recommend it because it's cheap and just you know easy to have in your pocket as, a, as your go-to um, vibe anyway guys that's all I have for you guys today. You know the drill. Click like, click subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.